Hi guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial of the uh, Xiaoji 2020. Uh, this is a tutorial for the AI of competition, uh, the AI with the lie detection and trust. And uh, I want to explain the uh, details on here. Uh, my name is Hirotaka Osawa, uh, one of the tutorial organizers. Uh, first, uh, I want to explain the uh, history of the game playing AI. Uh, there are several uh, development of the uh, artificial intelligence player that can play the game with human. Uh, the game playing AI is one kind of the good benchmark in the AI field, and uh, several uh, games uh, like chess, go, quiz, poker, and uh, other games are tried as a uh, sample of the uh, AI uh, games. And I think that uh, COG is one kind of the focus uh, for uh, doing the research on the uh, computer science in the games. And that might be a one kind of background. And uh, there are several examples on the several movies uh, like uh, yeah, uh, Star Wars and also the uh, 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. First, uh, I want to explain the history of the computer games, uh, computer versus humans. The famous example is that the chess competition, and uh, IBM Deep uh, beats Gary Kasparov, the chess uh, warship champion, uh, in 1997. And in the same ages, it's not be uh, famous, but reverse games, uh, and the Logistero, uh, program Logistero beats uh, Takeshi Murakami. Uh, it's a uh, world champion of the uh, reverse games. And then uh, there is a war uh, of the Skynet with humankind. It is planned, but uh, fortunately we don't have uh, such kind of future. Then what happened next is 2015, the Texas Hold'em, the poker game, a two player limited is solved. And also uh, 2016, the AlphaGo beats uh, Resettle. And uh, this is one kind of proceeding of the uh, game history. So what comes next is our focus. So there are several uh, different kind of games in here, like uh, complete information games versus incomplete information games, and symbolic games and linguistic games, and digital games and analog games, a single player game, multiplayer game, cooperative game, no cooperative game, deterministic and deterministic games. There's so many kind of variations. And we are focusing on the uh, above two factors, uh, incomplete information game and linguistic game. And uh, we propose a new challenge for game AI. Uh, that from uh, the complete information game and symbolic game to incomplete information game and communication games. So uh, the theme is are you well oh? Yes, uh, also called as a mafia game on here. I think that the most of the guys might know a uh, game of the world, but I want to explain the, how it is uh, started. Uh, the, in the night, uh, it's a story about the village. So there are several whales have arrived who can change into and um, into human and eat humans. And there are uh, whales have the same form as human during the day and uh, attacking the villagers one by one every night, as turning it to the whales shape. And here uncertainty and doubt was like whales begin to grow. The villager decides that they must execute uh, those who are suspected of being werewolves one by one. This is the cover story of Are You a Werewolf? So, uh, Are You a Werewolf is a party game that models a conflict between an informed minority and an uninformed majority. Uh, this is the original definition of the 1984's uh, uh, Mafia game proposed by the Dmitry Davidov in the Soviet Union. And uh, this is the starting point of the War of Game. And uh, the game starts as here. Uh, initially, each player is secretly assigned the role of affiliated with one of these teams. And there are two phases, uh, called as night and day. And at night, uh, the War of attacks the town folks. And during the day, surviving players discuss the elimination of the War by voting. And uh, the goal of the town folks is to ascertain who the world are and to kill them all. 
And the goal of Earth is to kill off all the villagers without being killed themselves. And the rule is explained us uh, these uh, kind of steps. First, uh, there will be uh, uh, several assignation of the roles, and uh, several roles, uh, several character has a uh, uh, werewolf. And also starting about the discussion with each others, like uh, yeah, I am a villager, I have not skill, uh, I have a skill to uh, inspect others, or yeah, uh, I doubt her or some kind of the interaction, uh, communication has happened on here. Then uh, there is a boat phase. In boat phase, uh, each player uh, votes uh, someone who are suspected. And, and then uh, there is a correction of the boat, and the majority uh, boats uh, will kill someone. And the someone is executed and removed from the discussion. Then in night phase, uh, this is attack phase. The werewolves uh, will attack, uh, discuss with someone, and with others and attack their someone, uh, kill uh, one by one by one night. Yeah, and someone uh, killed uh, is uh, also removed in the discussion. And there is several other roles called a seer. For example, the seer has uh, some skill to inspect someone and find who is where or not. For example, uh, in the night phase, so seer select the discard and find that not grow. And uh, if the seer selected this old guy, so uh, he finds that this is a rule. And there is also a medium. Uh, that's a, a role to uh, explain or inspect that uh, someone who was executed is or not. This uh, role is, uh, happens only in the close game uh, called the uh, start from the Italian version of the world called the, uh, Lupus in Tabra. And this is uh, our standard rule uh, of the, yeah, AI standard rule. And if someone is executed, so uh, the medium will be told by the uh, game master uh, that he is, she or he is Ulf one at all. And also there is a co uh, role called as a bodyguard. Uh, bodyguard can protect someone at the night time and uh, if the someone is attacked uh, and someone is also uh, protected by the bodyguard, so uh, this uh, person is not killed. But bodyguard cannot uh, protect uh, themselves. And also there is a role called as possessed. And possessed is just a villager, but their goal is to uh, deceiving someone and wins or uh, helping the wares and uh, if the uh, wares uh, wins, uh, possessed also wins. Uh, so uh, in that case, uh, possessed will help the wares with calling uh, them as a seer or maybe uh, executing someone different. Uh, ones uh, and there are several uh, roles on here. Then, and the important thing is that Possessed is not uh, knowing who is Werewolf, and Werewolf also doesn't know uh, who is Possessed. Yeah. And a uh, victory condition of the Town Fox team is defined that if the, uh, all uh, Werewolf would be removed, so uh, the villagers will win in that time. And victory condition of wealth team is that if the, uh, all wealth's uh, number is same as a villager or less than same, so uh, wealth win. So in this case, the uh, number of wealth is equal to or greater than the number of no uh, no uh, wealth. So that is a winning uh, condition. So what kind of the uh, type? Uh, of this game is uh, that uh, this game is a, uh, at first it is incomplete information game and it is also linguistic uh, aspect is here and this is also the analog game and this is also multiple player game and the world game also has a cooperative aspect and non cooperative aspect and also the result is very deterministic so it means that we can evaluate uh, which kind of game is okay and which kind of game is not. And uh, what is the technical uh, point of the, this game? Uh, uh, this game is that uh, uh, in, 
it is incomplete information game. So uh, it means that an asymmetric diversity of players' information is included. And also, persuasion is a very good factor to earning the trust. And also, the speculation is a method to detecting a lie. So uh, this kind of the, uh, communication aspect is very uh, tested on this game. And uh, because this is a communication game, so natural language processing is a very good factor on here. And also the speech dialogues, analysis of speech dialogue, synthesis of speech, speech recognition is also a good key factor on this game. And also the, uh, it is good uh, term to using the virtual agent or real robots to testing uh, what kind of non-verbal behavior or moving or some kind of hands uh, is good to evaluate. And uh, in the theoretical meaning, so uh, there, there is uh, several uh, kind of definition in the work game. So, uh, for example, in the cross rules, uh, if someone is calling the who is a wolf or not, but uh, if uh, someone is observing the game uh, from outside of the game, so they cannot decide which uh, is right and which is wrong. Uh, and also, uh, in that situation, uh, agent must find the various possible words uh, to expecting the, the what word is more possible or what word is not. And uh, about the important point, uh, so the uh, persuasion of the others is uh, requires a world model in the world model. It means a recursive inspection. For example, uh, if you want to uh, explain someone that uh, uh, who is a world. For example, uh, I want to say I'm a, a character A and I want to uh, claim that the C is a world. So, uh, and uh, I want to uh, vote C and uh, I also request, I want to request B to vote C. So it means that uh, I need to expect uh, who, uh, how B is thinking. So uh, it means that the how B, uh, B's viewpoint is uh, inside of the game. So it means a recursive estimation of uh, here. So if the B is a wolf, uh, so uh, I, if I saying some kind of word, so B might thinking that uh, the B's model as a different tree or some kind of thing. This is very close to uh, the theme of the theory of mind, and it is a good theme for uh, studying these kind of the factors in the AI field. And of course, uh, there is also a trust and the detection is included on here. So it means that agent is surrounded by liars, uh, the, the agent must decide who to trust and must to detect who is a liar. So this is very close to the theme of the uh, trust uh, in the AIs. And also as a liar agent uh, must lie without contradiction and, and the agent must lie to win and the agent must argue with other agent. So it means that uh, there is a several task for the aspect of trust and detection. Yeah, deception on here. And uh, there is uh, two kind of difficulty on this game. Uh, uh, also the communication game aspect. So uh, there is uh, several uh, aspect of the uh, virtual agent or the real world agents robot studies, like uh, image recognition, speech recognition, natural language processing. And also in the decision making phase, the conception and determination is important. And also in the output phase, the dialogue generation, voice synthesis, and emotion generation is important factors. So it means that uh, communication between agents is ideally uh, explained about here. Phrase executed in certain worlds. Yeah. But now uh, it has not a natural language base. So this is kind of protocol based communication. So to ease the development of AI communication protocol, so the AI uh, protocol is provided on this game. So uh, we evaluated the work game logs in which 50% of the atlas and uh, represents through the following protocols. So this is a rule of the uh, protocol. 
and also the, and about the AI competition, the competition site is already open and we already uh, doing the second uh, world competition. Unfortunately, the deadline is already uh, gone, but you can try the next year's uh, competition. I think that this will be uh, also held in the Ijikai 2021 if it is uh, the COVID-19 effect is not uh, last, so we can meet each other some here. And uh, yeah, and let's join a uh, work with us uh, for the uh, world of the rare game uh, research. Thank you.